every year and some bushes yield fruit every two years. So some bushes will only yield fruit once. You can come pick raspberries here in June and July. Drop some of these rope branches. Another very popular crop on our farm is apples. If you look right over here, you can see a bunch of apple trees planted very close together. These are honey crisp apple trees. A very popular apple. We have high demand for these honey crisp apples, so we planted 450 new honey crisp trees this year. Hopefully they will yield between 10 and 15 apples each next year. Now we are going to pass by what I like to call the holiday field. And the reason I like to call it holiday field, well, what are these orange things that are sitting out here in the field? Pumpkins! What holiday do we is our pumpkin synonymous with? Halloween! Halloween and Thanksgiving! So we've got your Halloween and Thanksgiving right here. <laughs> Keep going. What are these green things right here? What kind of trees? Christmas trees! Yes, Christmas trees. We have over 35,000 Christmas trees growing here at Limbo Orchards. You can actually come here starting Black Friday, cut your own tree down. We send you on a hayride, we give you a saw. You chop your tree down, we bring it back for you, we wrap it up for you, we get it on top of your car for you, and you come back to a bonfire with marshmallows to roast and hot apple cider. And if you're lucky enough, you come back and cut your own tree, you might get to see me again, because uh, I'm one of those strong men that put trees on top of your car for you. I know you're thinking. We have a lot of different squash that grow here at Linville. So if everyone can turn around and look at me, I'm going to show you some squash. It's a very interesting squash. We've got your acorn squash. This looks like a little acorn. Pretty cool. We've got your butternut squash. Now, butternut squash is good for eating. You can make butternut squash soup. You can use this for a pumpkin pie. Instead of pumpkins, you use squash. Another squash that you can use in pumpkin pie that's actually very common in pumpkin pie is Blue Hubbard. Very creamy, very tasty squash you can use in pumpkin pie. How many of you like spaghetti? Raise your hand really high. I love spaghetti. I'm really hungry right now, so I'm going to just sit over here and have some spaghetti. I'm just going to have some spaghetti. There we go, some spaghetti. Is that spaghetti? Is this spaghetti? That's not spaghetti. Oh, come on, Mr. Matt. That's not spaghetti. This is actually a spaghetti squash. The reason it's called spaghetti squash, if you look at the inside of this squash, Aladdin. Raise your hand really high. I love Aladdin. I'm a huge Disney fan. I mean, Aladdin's great. So we've got... <laughs> oh, I come from a land, from a faraway place where the caravan camels roam, where it's flat and immense and the heat is intense. It's barbaric, but hey, it's home. This is called a Turk's turban. It's called a Turk's turban because it looks like the turbans they wear in Aladdin. It's pretty cool. Like balance on your head and everything. Ooh, yeah. Impressive, I know. It lasts for about three seconds. It's not a good one. I used to have a really good one that like, fit perfectly on my head. It was like a hat. This one. Not so good. Right here on the left, we have one of our two huh? swim clubs. This is Hidden Hollow. We also have Knowlton Swim Club. Both swim clubs open in late May, stay open through early September. They both have swim teams. They both provide swim lessons. They are by membership only, so if you're from the area and you want to Spend your summer at a great swim club. I would definitely recommend either Hen Hollow or Knowlton. We also have tennis camps here in the summer. But we have to screen out how old you are. Go ahead. Go ahead, everybody. Okay, I heard, I heard, I heard some sixes and some sevens. Can you raise your hand if you're six? Can you raise your hand if you're seven? Can you raise your hand if you're five? Any five? Okay, good, good, good. So we'll go with an average of six. These pear trees are our oldest trees in the orchard. These trees are 60 years old. So they're 10 times your age. We have a lot of different kinds of pears here. We have Bartlett, Second Hoshu, Vermont Beauty, Asian pears. Now how many of you like those little white powdered tasty cake donuts? 
Raise your hand. You always feel like you're doing something wrong when you eat them. You like eat them in a corner. You eat them real quick and wipe the powdered sugar off and put them down. Don't look at me.